Hey everyone, welcome to Find Your Flow and welcome to day four of our feel theme, yoga for a fresh perspective. So we're going to be getting the blood moving, shifting any stagnant energy we might have and as always, moving in a way that feels good. So hop onto your mat and I'll meet you there. props lift up onto something a little higher so you can find some support for the hips and we are going to start in a comfortable seat of your choice so I'm in Sukhasana if this doesn't work for you today then find anything at all that does maybe the legs out long maybe just lift a, even higher onto some cushions blankets pillows or blocks and closing the eyes or softening the gaze we find this length through our spine, reaching it tall like a mountain, but softening through the shoulders. And picturing this pool of white light at the base of our spine, near our tailbone and pelvis. And with every inhale, can we notice this white light floating all the way up through the spine, reaching to the crown of the head? With every exhale, it floats back down into the pool of light. And keep your attention here as we breathe with intention. Inhaling, exhaling during this white light floating through each of the vertebrae one by one. Picture all of your bones, joints, muscles, ligaments, all of this space. Becoming aware of exactly where we are here. Letting go of everything else that's happened so far today. Breathing in through the nose and on your next exhale, open your mouth as wide as you can. Sigh your breath out. <sighs> Two more times, softening the jaw. <sighs> maybe you keep this soft or maybe you exhale a bit louder. <sighs> nice. Opening the eyes. Shaking out the wrists. And then rolling the shoulders forwards, round and back, and back, round and forwards. Now keep your hips lifting onto your support as we send the left leg out long and hug the right leg up and in. So the ankles coming over the top of the left thigh or the left shin, notice where we've got the space. Or the while keeping this length through the spine that we found in our seated position. And we'll take our hand, our left hand onto our right foot or bring our right foot to the crease of our elbow and find our leg baby. Just rocking from side to side, giving our hips lots and lots of love. Remember wherever we are, keeping the foot nice and active so we aren't collapsing and putting a lot of pressure on the ankle joint. Nice, then rocking forwards, finding a full breath here. And rocking back, keeping the leg where it is and taking your fingers in between each of the toes. So if we can't do each of the toes, you can just do two at a time, but just taking a breath here. Smiling and if this feels different, just notice it as being different. It's just a sensation. Try not to label it as good or bad. And then we'll point the foot and flex the foot. Nice, one more time, point the foot and flex the foot, send the ankles around one direction and in the other direction and then release the fingers from the toes, just wiggle it out, wiggle the leg 
and coming in on the other side. So finding our leg baby with our left leg lifting it up. And notice if we have more space on one side than the other. So either bringing the foot to the hand or to the elbow crease. Just really oiling through the joints. I always think we're like the tin man and we're it's at that moment where we get the oil can and we're spraying it into all of our joints and muscles. All right, so then rock forwards, finding one full breath here. Before coming back and bringing the fingers in between the toes. Oh yeah, breathing in. Breathing out, keeping the shoulders soft and away from the ears. And then pointing the foot and flexing the foot once more. Point your foot and flex your foot. Nice, waking up the toes. Then find circles one way and circles the other way. Gorgeous. Release the fingers from the toes. Send the legs out long. Shake them out. And then hug the right leg back up and in. Hug the left arm around the leg and then float the right hand behind us onto the earth or onto some props. If we need a little bit more height to find a little bit more length in the spine, so keeping the left toes lifting towards the face, we're finding this rotation through our rib cage, inhaling to reach a little taller, exhale to twist a little more. And making your way back, sending the right leg long, left leg hugs in, twisting on the other side. So hugging the right arm around, then left fingertips swim behind, reaching tall and exploring this space. Keeping this long line from the crown of the head to the tip of the tailbone. Finding one more breath here. Before coming all the way back, crossing the feet at the ankles, jumping through to a tabletop, all fours. Wrists beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips, cat pose, rolling the tailbone down, arching the spine, dropping the gaze. And floating through, lifting the tailbone, cow pose, tummy floats down, gaze lifts, nice. Two more times through your cat and cow, rather than just reaching the pose, because that's the shape, experiencing the sensations we feel in the body as we move in harmony with our breath. And coming back to your neutral spine, when you're ready, tucking the toes under, walking the hands back to sit on the feet, reaching the arms out wide. Breathe it in, reach for the sky. And softening, taking the arms out wide, shoulders length. Crossing the right arm over the left, the back of the hands or palms towards each other as we lift the elbows or soften the shoulders, eagle arms. Option to lift onto the knees, Find padding under the knees if we need. Really breathing into this space in our upper back body. And notice the hands don't need to touch, it's just the intention of bringing them towards each other. So be where you are. On your next exhale, release the arms, float them wide, cross the left arm over the right. Garandasana arms on the other side. All right, so breathing in, lifting the elbows, softening the shoulders. Inhaling, exhaling, releasing, rolling the shoulders back and round, walking the hands forwards, keep sitting on the toes as we press down through the palms, we'll lift the heels, lift the hips, downward facing dog, pedaling through the heels, finding space, sending love, easing into this. Bending the knees as much as we want to. And then walking, stepping or hopping the feet forwards into a fold. Feet hips distance apart. Rooting down to slowly rise up to standing. Arms float wide, reach for the sky, gazing up. And releasing, coming all the way back down to our fold. This time as we inhale, we'll lift up halfway, finding a flat back, your version. Exhale to release, planting the palms, 
stepping both feet back, downward facing dog, lifting the hips high, and then rolling the shoulders forwards over the wrists, coming to a plank pose. So keeping the knees lifted or lowering them down. Choose your own plank. Keep pressing through the palms wherever you are, lifting the space in between the shoulder blades. A long line, like a long plank of wood, from the head to the heels in your high plank. And then wherever you are, everybody bring the knees down as we send the elbows behind us, releasing to the earth, feet come wide, pressing the hands back towards the rib cage. heart space floats forwards, baby cobra, waking up the back body and the front body, nice, two more times, inhaling, lifting on your exhale, sending the shoulder blades down the back body, once more, inhaling, Exhale, heart lifts forwards and we release, pressing down lightly to lift back up into your plank pose. Then send the hips high, downward facing dog, walking, stepping or hopping the feet forwards into your fold, hugging opposite hand to opposite elbow as we sway heavily from side to side, bend the knees as much as you want to here, keeping it really, really soft. Coming back to centre, on your inhale, lifting up halfway, your version flat back. Exhale to fold, rooting down to rise up. Head and neck come up last of all, arms float wide, reach for the sky. This time hands come together at the heart, we bend the knees, sit back in our chair pose. Really noticing this sturdy foundation in the feet, finding Face in the sacrum and lumbar as we step hips width apart. Keeping the low body where it is as we twist over to the right side. Lifting the thumbs towards the sternum and the heart. Breathing in, breathing out. Coming back to centre, twisting over to the left side. Staying in your chair pose, keeping this long line in the spine. And coming all the way back, lengthening the legs and stepping the right leg straight back, coming into a warrior one. So finding a nice wide stance as we spiral the back thigh forwards, we'll bend the front knee and reach the arms, soften the shoulders, soften the elbows, cactus arms. We're opening through the hips here. Notice as the thigh travels forwards, the hips travel forwards. Oh, just lengthening through the spine, taking a breath in. As we breathe out, interlace the hands, send the knuckles down and away, and bring the forehead towards the earth, and maybe the crown of the head down in our humble warrior. Feel your feet on the earth. Rooting down through all four corners of both feet. Rising up, nice and slowly, reaching the arms, and then straightening the front leg, hands come to the hips, and although the front leg's straight, know that we aren't locking into this knee joint, so keep a micro bend here, keeping the back thigh travelling forwards, we'll lengthen through the spine, as we lengthen, we'll reach forwards as we fold. Pyramid pose. As soon as the spine starts to round, that's where we stay. If we want to, we can bring our fingertips or our hands down onto our support from our at-home props. Really making sure we have this micro bend in the front knee. Can we reach even taller through the spine? Perhaps bringing the hands to the heart for our final breath here. Nice. And keeping the front knee straight as we bring the hands to the rib cage. So we'll open the ribs over to the right. Notice how this twist is coming from the ribs and not from the hips. The hips are still where they are. We'll bring the left hand down either to the inside of the left leg or onto our support if we have some. So take your brick, your cookbook, 
your dictionary, anything you have at all. You can keep this spiraling in the ribs. And we can keep the right hand on the hip space, maybe it comes to the small of the back, or if we have lots of space, we can reach the right hand towards the sky, keeping our gaze down, or exploring, lifting it towards the right hand, but know that this does require a lot of space, and if we start to feel any compression and tightness in the neck, just to bring the gaze straight back down, breathing here in our triangle pose, Trikonasana. Breathing in, breathing out, bending the front knee, rising back into your warrior one, arms reach. Then step in the back foot to meet the front foot, slowly chin towards the chest, rolling down towards the ground. Planting the palms, stepping or hopping back into your plank pose. Knees lifted or lowered as we send the elbows back, come down to the ground. Plant the palms near the ribs as we rise, heart space forwards, cobra. And releasing, gorgeous. Lifting back up into your plank. And then send the hips high, downward facing dog. Pedaling through the heels. For walking, stepping or hopping the feet forwards into your fold. Rooting down to lift up halfway, flat back. Exhale, releasing and rising up to standing. Arms float wide, you reach for the sky. And softening all the way down, mountain pose. We'll step the left leg back on a diagonal and start to find our warrior one. So turning our left thigh towards the front of our mat, so we're internally rotating it, bringing the bend to the front knee, hands reach, soften into our cactus arms. Take a nice breath in here, nice breath out before releasing the hands behind us, interlacing, sending the knuckles down and away. As we reach forwards, and down into our humble warrior. Feel the ground beneath you. Stay with your breath. Inhaling, exhaling. And rooting down to rise back up. Hands come to the hips, we straighten through the front leg, keeping this micro bend though, keeping the back thigh travelling forwards as we lengthen and fold pyramid pose. Take what support you want to here. Maybe the hands come together to the heart for our last breath. And everybody bring the hands to the ribs. Rib cage twists over to the left side of the mat. We bring our right hand down onto our support wherever it is. Left hand either to the hip, the small of the back, or reach towards the sky. Really twist through the rib cage, through our thoracic spine as we find our triangle pose. We're mixing up all of the energy in the body, getting everything circulating and flowing in a way that feels good. So really use your breath to help this move the energy along, get the blood flowing. And on your next exhale, Bend the front knee, unravel back to your warrior one, arms reach. And step in the back foot to meet the front foot, Tadasana, tucking the chin towards the chest, we'll roll down through the spine. Coming all the way into our fold, inhaling to lift up halfway your flat back, exhale, fold. 
planting the palms, stepping or hopping back into your plank. And then everybody bend their elbows, come down, rise into your cobra. Gorgeous. Softening. And this time as we press up, we'll sit straight back, child's pose, knees wide, big toes to touch. Soften the forehead and chest down. Take what support you need here. If child's pose doesn't work for you today, find another comfortable seat that does. Wherever we are, just connecting to our inhales and our exhales. Can you see there's a bit of a theme here in yoga? <laughs> Everybody slowly lifting out of your child's pose. Bringing the knees back to parallel. We'll tuck the toes and come to find our final downward facing dog. So pressing down to rise up, lead with the hips. And either staying here, just exploring this, or option to float the left hand to the outer right thigh, calf or ankle, finding this juicy, juicy twist. But listen to if there's space and if this is in your practice today. We'll find one more breath here before releasing back to center and coming on over to the other side. Coming all the way back. Everybody as slow as you can go. Bring the knees down to the ground. Hover them off the earth just before they get there. We'll find a tabletop with the knees lifted. We keep pressing through the palms actively. Shoulders over the wrists. Finding two more breaths. Connect to the center. Breathe. And on your last exhale, come back down, scoot the legs to one side, I'll stop flashing, and we will come to a seat on the ground. Taking the feet, planting them nice and firmly, bringing the hands behind us, and with every inhale, we'll lift our heart, lift our gaze. With every exhale, softening and curling two more times, just finding this soft wave in the spine. Getting the head and neck involved, finding this gentle rock in the pelvis and the tailbone. Nice thing coming all the way back, sending both legs out long, reaching the arms out and softening as slow as we can. Connect to our center, option to bring the hands to the heart. Feeling the spine down one vertebrae at a time. And as we get down on the ground, reaching the arms back, reaching through the heels and through the fingertips, taking a big breath in, exhaling to curl into a tight ball. Hug the knees in, bring the forehead towards the knees, rounding. And releasing the head, neck and shoulders back down, taking our knees nice and wide, hands to the knees and just exploring some circles one way. And circles the other way. Bringing the feet as wide as the mat. Windscreen while bring the knees over to the right. This time staying there. Option to bring the right foot onto the top, or the outer edge of the left thigh. Come 
come back to centre whenever you're ready. Windscreen wiper over to the left. Again, option to bring the foot to the outer edge of the thigh, keeping the shoulder space rooted down nice and soft. And coming all the way back. Hugging the knees in for one final breath. Binding our football knees towards the nose. Breathing in. Breathing out. Soften into our final most precious resting posture. Shavasana. If you'd rather finish this practice in a comfortable seat, maybe if you're doing this at the start of your day and you want to wake up a bit more, then feel free to do so. But with as little fuss as possible, we'll find the softness and the stillness. Feeling each part of our body that's connected and rooted down to the ground. We are here. Now. You might like to picture that white light again, keeping us connected to each of our inhales and exhales. You might like to bring the hands Either hand to the stomach or left hand to the heart, right hand to the stomach. Just feel exactly how you feel here. And stay here lying down in Shavasana or if you'd like to roll around to the right side really gently pressing up coming to finish our practice in a seat either keeping the hands rested where they are or floating the palms together at the heart as we bow our head towards our heart in gratitude for this moment. I thank you for joining me and the rest of the Find Your Flow community. From my heart to yours, Namaste.